Hey everybody and welcome back to a new video. I'm Mike with Mike's Drones and More and today guys I'm going to show you how to install the FPV camera and also the VTX for the Bug 6. Now uh, just keep in mind this is not the stock camera that you can order for the Bugs. This is an aftermarket camera. Um, I didn't like the way that one looked and the way it was set up and I wanted something a little bit better so that's why I ordered that. But uh, we'll go ahead and uh, pause the video for a second here, and I'll be right back, and we'll get right into this upgrade. All right, guys, so as stated before the break there, we're going to be doing the, uh, the upgrade. Um, for the, uh, the FPV camera and also the VTX uh, transmitter, uh, wireless uh, 5.8 gigahertz transmitter, so that way we can get some FPV going on this and also uh, everything else. Yeah, so I am really impressed with that. Okay, so this is the uh, camera that I ordered. This is a uh, 600 uh, TVL um, camera, FPV, and you can see it's got the little uh, connector on the back there and everything like that. So we should get some excellent uh, FPV footage with this uh, particular camera. Um, the little kit that I ordered, I will leave a link in the description for you guys. It has everything in the kit that you need to uh, hook this up really quick and easy to your drone. Um, it also comes with this. Uh, this is a set of cables. Um, this is a video in, I believe. That way you can go through and set up like the on-screen display menus and things like that comes with a little mounting bracket. I don't think we're going to need to use this because I think I'm just going to use some sticky tape to keep it in place. And then here's the uh, transmitter that I ordered. This is a uh, 40 channel, 600 milliwatt, 5.8 gigahertz VTX. And here's the antenna that they give you. It's just one of those generic ones like the, uh, um, the cheapies. You know, I'll probably use it for now, see how it works, um, and then if I want, you know, I can always upgrade it. On the back here, you can see it's got the display for the, the channel, and the channel buttons are right there, and you get a little instruction manual on how to set up the channels and everything like that, so that's pretty sweet. And then here's your, um, your actual connector. Now this came with a uh, JST uh, female connector on the end. So if you want, you can use the JST male connector and then connect it, but I'm not going to use that because that would make the cables like really super long and I don't need that. So I went ahead and cut those off and then here's the little cable that runs from there directly to the camera. So everything's pre-wired up. Um, it's really, really easy. The only thing that you have to really solder in is just basically the power in the ground to the drone and that's really about it. It's really, really super easy, which is really nice so okay so we'll go ahead and pan the camera down here and I'll show you what we're gonna go ahead and do to uh, get this uh, little project started up so I've already got my soldering iron uh, warmed up so we've got that going and bring it on down and there we go okay, I'm gonna move my camera back just a bit there we go okay so uh, first thing that you want to do is obviously you're gonna um, go ahead and pop the top here and it's just a uh, held on by those little things right there. And then um, if you did the mod for the antenna like I did, I'm just gonna slide my antenna right down through there. That's why I did that, to keep it really easy for me to be able to um, access. Now, uh, the next step, what you gotta do is you gotta get under this board because we're gonna actually access the uh, XT30 connector. That's where I'm gonna plug my power directly for the camera so to get this board off it's really easy there is two screws there's one here on this side and there's one here that's covered up by that white silicon junk so you might have to um, remove some of the silicon to uh, to get to that screw but other than that it's uh, it's really easy so just set that screw aside for now and also there's a um, piece of uh, it's, a, it's not double-sided sticky tape, but uh, sticky foam that they put on the top here. So you'll have to gently remove that. I kind of ripped mine in a couple of spots, um, but 
it's still usable, so I will replace that when I'm done. I guess you don't have to use it if you don't want to replace it, um, but I'm going to because they had it. So very, very, very gently move your board out of the way. Come over here, be careful not to rip any of the, uh, the cables or anything like that. And uh, where we're getting down to is uh, right in here. It's just the XT30 connector. We're gonna actually solder the cable onto the back of it. So um, when this first comes on, there's a little plastic piece that sits right on the top of it and that kind of like holds it in place right there. So you have to pry this up. It's not that hard, it's just a little plastic piece. And then this just comes right up, it just, just like that. Okay, and then on the back of the little board, you can kind of see right there, you can see your positive and your negative, and that's where we're going to solder in the, uh, the camera in directly. So I'm going to go ahead and set this here, and I'm going to go ahead and get my, uh, my cables, and I'm going to go ahead and split these cables a little bit, so I've got a little bit of wire to work with here. There we go. There we go. So this uh, silicone around these little uh, cables is really, really um, easy. You can just uh, remove it with your fingernails. It's not that hard at all. And then I'm just going to go ahead and kind of spin the wires just a little bit so they're all nice and uh, nice and tight. Okay, so I'm going to move this for just a second. I'm going to grab my helping hands and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got my uh, helping hands here. Uh, my hands tend to shake a lot. Um, they just, they always have, <laughs> I don't have really good steady hands. So I have to use uh, extra help. So I'm just going to put just a little bit of solder on these uh, cables just to uh, make sure that when I... go just enough there we go okay and then uh, flip it around to the other one here like so it doesn't have to be a lot because the actual connector there has got uh, quite a bit of uh, solder on it so this is just to really kind of get it to uh, connect on the other connector go okay that like it just just a dab doesn't take much all right so now we got that done we'll go ahead and move our drone and the board back here so now all I'm gonna do again is I'm just going to you can see I'm gonna put the negative to the negative and the positive to the positive so grab my helper hand here really quick Hopefully I can get this situated. There we go. Okay. Hope you guys can see that okay. If you can't, I apologize. It's kind of, it's hard to solder and, and uh, film at the same time. So you have to be uh, super, super careful. Alright, so I'm just going to kind of Hit the solder here for just a second, let it kind of warm up. There we go, and give it a nice little tug, make sure it's not going anywhere. Okay, I'm gonna grab my uh, tweezers. Okay. So these cables they tend to get um, a little warm. Well, like I said, my hands are shaky, so I've I've always had shaky hands. So <laughs> I'm not the best solderer in the world, but I think I do an okay job. Alright, let the solder sit on here. There we go. Let it warm up. Yeah. Oh 
Okay. And put my soldering iron over here. Give that a nice tuggy tuggy. There we go. Good to go. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, very gently stuff this connector back down in here. Make sure again, be very careful with your board. You don't want to uh, pull any of those, uh, those little connectors. There we go. Okay. Make sure it's nice and snug down there. There it is. Okay, and then what I'm going to do next is that little uh, plastic guy. I'm just going to put him back in his place. And like I said, this just uh, this little thing just holds the um, the power connector back in place. Is, is all it does. There we go. Okay. Just basically, I think what it does is it just keeps it from uh, from moving out of place. All right. There we go. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just gently keep these wires over here. I'm going to go ahead and kind of tuck those in a little bit on each side. There we go. Okay. Get this wire back down in there. There we go. Okay, there we go. Move it back in place. Perfect. Make sure not to pinch that too hard. And then I'm going to get my first screw. Get that going in there. Alright, there we go. First one's in. And I'm going to put my second one in. There we go. Okay, boom, there we go. You've got your power lead coming up to your camera and everything like that. So that is perfect. Okay, so next, if you have this little sticky foam thing, you're going to put that back on. I'm not going to put it back on because I'm actually going to reuse this camera and the VTX on another project as well. So this is just to kind of show you guys how to do this particular upgrade. Okay, so that is done for now. So the next step, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and uh, grab my drill. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill a hole um, right about roughly here. You can put it wherever you want. Um, I'm going to put it kind of like where the green meets right there with the black. And then what I'll do is I'll show you guys how to do this. So I'm going to basically what I'm going to do is just put the VTX under here. So let me unscrew it. There we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use some double sided sticky tape and I'm just going to put the VTX uh, right under here just like that. Or actually probably to the side like that so that way the antenna can uh, fit on there and that way also you can access your uh, your channels as well so kind of probably more like that so that way I can get to those buttons and everything like that okay so hold on I'm gonna go get the uh, electric drill and I'll okay so now that I've got my electric drill let me grab my drill bits here and I'm gonna try and match up as best I can so the one that I want. All right, and I'm just gonna drill my uh, drill my hole. It's probably not gonna be exact, and that's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. So. Plastic is kind of a little flimsy, so when you drill it, you kind of have to put uh, pressure on it. So there we go. Let's see if the antenna um, fits through. There's my antenna. <laughs> okay, so that's still a bit small. 
So I'm going to go over the next drill bit up. Uh, that's the biggest size I have, so I might have to just make the, uh, the uh, hole bigger with my So I kind of uh, made it a little bit bigger there. Okay, so you can see I've got the uh, antenna here. You just kind of pop it up through. There we go. Okay, perfect. And then you can see right under it connects right there. So that way I can uh, plug in my uh, my VTX. So I'm gonna get a little bit of some sticky tape here. And grab my scissors behind me. There we go. I'm not going to use a lot of sticky tape because, again, I'm going to be using this uh, camera and VTX on another planned project. We'll just put it right there on the back. Don't cover up this side. This side is the one that shows your channel and the uh, frequency that you're on so do not cover that side up put it on the other side so that way you can still um, get access to it okay so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna keep the antenna connected and then I'm gonna turn this around see what I'm doing here okay then I'm just gonna push this down in place there we go. Okay. Perfect. All right. So we're gonna have the VTX uh, sitting right here, and then my uh, transmitter antenna will sit back here as well. So that's what it looks like from the top, and then underneath you can see it sits there, plugs straight in, and just goes right up. And then how this is gonna sit? It's just gonna sit uh, just like this right on the top just like that okay all right so next step is the easy part we're gonna get a little bit more sticky tape here and I'm going to set the camera on the sticky tape now uh, once you get really good at the FPV you'll probably want to angle your uh, your camera up when you're zooming around but I'm not that good yet so therefore I'm just gonna make it nice and even and I'm just putting the camera right there in the front and then on the back here it does I hard to see but you can see it says top so where this little connector is that's where it sits up top and then I'm just going to Stick that right there. Okay. All right, and then I already removed the uh, the little bull nose thing on the front, so I'm just going to go ahead and take those two screws off there. And this will kind of move back once I get that little uh, bracket thing. Now I'm just going to move this guy right here. There we go. Perfect. That's actually fitting really super nice. I'm happy with that. Okay. And just grab your first screw. Tighten it down. There we go. And that actually puts a little pressure on the camera. As you can see, it actually kind of lines it up nice and straight, which is beautiful. I'm very happy about that. And I'm going to put my other screw down here. There we go. This is actually going to be the same VTX and the same camera that I'm going to use uh, when the racing drone parts uh, get here finally. In the meantime, while I'm waiting for that, 
we'll be able to have some fun uh, flying this little guy around and getting some practice. Okay, so the next step what you got to do is uh, take this little cable and you're going to plug the white end to the back of your camera over here. Only goes one way, so I just got to find where the pins are and plug that bad boy in. There we go. And then this black guy right here will connect to right here. So all I gotta do is just uh, plug this in. And this connector only goes one way as well. I believe. Check. Actually, it'll go both ways. So I would line up the yellow with the yellow. Okay, there we go. Okay, so now we've got that installed and ready to go. And uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to kind of stuff these wires. Now, if you really want to have a nice, clean build, um, you can put these wires and you can use a little sticky tape on the bottom here and just kind of set them right here. But for time savings, I'm just going to... Uh, and then this white connector plugs right in here. You can kind of see on the top there, there's that connector. It plugs right in there. Only goes one way. So this is all really super, super easy to, uh, to do. Okay. And then I'm going to take that back. There we go. Thread my antenna back up through here. And I'm going to push this all back down. There we go. Okay. So super easy to uh, to do. Not not hard at all. Pull this up a little bit. All right, so there's what it's going to look like um, when you're done. You're going to have your VTX sitting up here. You're going to have your antenna. If you did this, you can also have it just hanging off the side or however you want it, and then your camera will be uh, in the front. So pretty happy about that. All right, so uh, I'm going to pause the video for just a second here, guys, because i got to go get the uh, battery off the charger. And I gotta get the FPV, um, the FPV goggles, so we can actually see this. And then I will be right back. Okay, so I've got the uh, battery, and I've got the FPV goggles turned on. So we'll go ahead and plug this in. Cross your fingers. Hopefully, I wired everything correctly. So far, so good. Okay. So now the uh, the big thing, I'm gonna um, go ahead and scan for the signal. So I'm not getting a signal just yet, so I think we might have to reverse that wire down under there. So let's check that and see if that's the case or not.
I'll just leave this right here for now. And then I'll just plug this back in. Okay. So we got a signal, and I was right. It's yellow to yellow. Um, it, what it was is I didn't have this little black connector plugged in quite all the way. So I wasn't sending the signal, and then I had to set the goggles. Uh, it automatically, I think it defaults to A1. And like I said, you can change it to whatever frequency and whatever band you're on. So um, I'm going to go ahead and pull the um, camera around here for you guys so you can actually see. The uh, signal on this thing is freaking amazing in the goggles. I mean, it is absolutely gorgeous. I hope you guys can see that okay. But it is absolutely crystal freaking clear. Um, I'm sorry you guys can't see that very well once we take it out and we'll get some FPV footage but you can see my hand there but it is really really super crystal clear I'm really liking the uh, signal on this so we are good to go okay so <laughs> yeah that is awesome that is uh, very 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 cool I'm extremely happy about that so awesome okay so I'm gonna pause here for just a few minutes and we'll go ahead and take this guy outside fly it around just a little bit and then uh, just to make sure everything is working correctly um, looks like everything is good to go tuck those wires back in and uh, we'll see what the FPV footage looks like guys guys so uh, that was the uh, upgrade of the bugs 6 with the uh, VTX and the FPV camera so you can see the footage is very good um, now the footage that records on the DVR is only at standard VGA it's not high definition so it can't really show you what I see which is a really nice crystal clear um, picture and like I said uh, hopefully this weekend I can get it out to the park if I'm not busy and uh, actually fly it around and uh, we'll get some really good uh, footage for you guys. So, but guys, if you liked this upgrade, please hit the thumbs button or thumbs up button for me. And uh, if you want, you can hit the subscribe button uh, below down, and that really helps the channel out. And if you hit the bell, that just lets you guys know when I've got new videos that are available for you each and every week. Uh, typically, we upload on Thursdays and Fridays, and sometimes the weekend if we have extra chance. Again, I'll try and get this out this weekend and uh, fly it around in the park for you. So you guys can actually see the FPV and I'll actually just do some straight up just FPV flying um, with no line of sight because I'm pretty uh, used to this uh, drone and so I'm pretty happy with it. So guys, uh, thank you for all the awesome comments and the wonderful support. I really do appreciate that. Uh, keep that coming and uh, just keep all the good comments. Appreciate each and every one of you. I uh, can't say any more than that. So guys, in the meantime, while you're waiting for the next video, let's keep our drones up in the air flying high i'll see you guys in my next video thank you for hanging out with me today have an awesome day